Last year, I took part in a charity walk as part of my Ryla experience in 2007. At the beginning of the walk I felt a bit left out, as no one was really speaking to me. But it was a glorious sunny day, and I was ready for the walk. This was taken near the end of the walk. You can't see this in film at the moment, but a helicopter went above us. I've had these boots for about two years. They really do need some upgrading. And hopefully for my next expedition in Neudart this year, I will have new boots. The walk was kind of split into three groups which is why there seems a little amount here. I only took part in one of the three days of the walk and we had about five stops during the day and we covered about 20 miles. This is one of our many stops along our walk. This is another of the stops which seemed to be the only time I had to produce a film. I didn't know many people on the walk, but I got to know a, a few number. That girl on the right is Mary, and Bryony is the one on the left there, which I managed to speak to on the walk. And the two, the woman and the man on the left actually never were going to be on the walk. We're actually the parents of another boy on the walk and somehow managed to get themselves involved with the walk in the end of the day. This was a tough bit climbing it. It looks easier than it was. This is another one of our breaks. Um, it was quite windy at this point, and everyone was quite quiet. Of course, I've recorded this in order. This was near the end of the walk, um, through a forest where we stopped for lunch, and one group went ahead, which felt that they could do it better than us, and the other group went, uh, the second group, that was me, we felt we were quite good but not good enough and then there was a slower group behind and somebody had a broken leg that day. Sound on that because you'll hear the deep breathing. <laughs> 